The Silver State is full of mining history and old ghost towns in the middle of absolutely nowhere. But today, I think I found something that's a little different. Welcome to Gold Point, Nevada, population five, or maybe six, depending on who's in town that day. This place is like a living museum, and if you're feeling it, you could even stay here overnight. 180 miles away from Las Vegas and frozen a half a century in the past, this defunct mining town may be tapped out of gold ore, but it's still producing incredible memories to this day. Walt, how are you? Great, Tom, how are you doing? Good, good, good to, to see, see you. Up. Yeah. I got, I got a thousand questions for you. Oh, one at a time, though. All right, it all begins here. When was this town founded? When did this all begin? This uh, started back in 1868, where it was called Lime Point originally, where they used to come up here, and uh, that hill over there was uh, a lime deposit, and that's how it got its name. But people came up here doing prospecting. Then uh, in 08, they came up here and found silver, horn silver, and renamed the town Horn Silver. Horn Silver is an informal name for silver chloride that's been exposed to desert air and polished by the elements. The resulting patina is said to resemble the color of a cow's horn, thus the name Horn Silver. In the late 20s and uh, 28, they discovered gold, and uh, hence that the name became Gold Point, which is what we live with now. And back in the day, at its height, how many people were here? As many as uh, coming and going, uh, 1,200, mostly uh, around uh, the 800 level during the heydays of the town. Unfortunately, mining is a boom or bust industry, and Gold Point eventually hit hard times. But in the late 1970s, Walt and his partners stepped in and what are you trying to do out here? We're trying to make it uh, something that people can come up and enjoy and get a, a feel of what it was like back in the day when people had to live this hard life that it was up here. You know, I just got here, but I can see you're doing an awesome job. Real quick, what is this building behind us? This one is the post office right here, which also has an adjoining residence next to it, which we've made into uh, part of our bed and breakfast. And the post office itself has been closed since 1964. Ora May, uh, which was the postmistress, she lived on here until the 80s. When she passed away is when we uh, acquired the building. And it's like a time capsule. You, you, yes, you're maintaining it, it but yeah. nothing really has changed, yeah? Nothing. Uh, in fact, I keep some of the buildings exactly like that. Yeah. I haven't even removed or put anything in there for 35 years. If you're really preserving. Yeah, absolutely. We left uh, all the dust from the, uh, from the 70s in there. But Walt isn't just saving on house cleaning bills. He's capturing a remarkable slice of American history. You're looking at the Ohio Mind, which was uh, closed in the late 30s, just before the war, for the war effort. The Ohio Mine wasn't the only gold mine that closed for World War II. In 1942, the War Production Board issued order number 208, deeming gold mining inessential. After that, all the mines shut down and the miners went to war. How deep does this mine go? About a thousand feet. It looks like it's in great condition. Did you fix it up or was it like that? No, it's, it was like that. And pretty much what you see right there is the way it stayed since uh, they removed the equipment out in the 60s. The only thing that changes it is uh, the panels start disappearing because uh, the wind takes them. The mine reopened on a smaller scale after the war. But in the 1960s, a cave-in closed the Dunphy shaft for good. Since then, the town has been pretty much frozen in time. Well, you know, I think American history really never dies. And when you've got a curator, somebody that knows it mm -hmm. and can show it in 3D, it's a whole new experience. When people stay here, yeah. where do they stay in town? Well, we have the bed and breakfast. That would uh, be the rooms that we have, which are eight. And they go anywhere from renting a whole house to a cabin that suits two, or we have the uh, dry camping, which people put up tents for that matter. And uh, then uh, we also have the uh, trailer park. And what about, where do they eat? Well, they eat uh, right by the saloon there. We have um, a full kitchen. Saloon, now you're talking yeah. my language. Can we go take a look at that? Absolutely, let's do it. At its peak, Gold Point boasted 13 saloons. After all, mining is a thirsty business. But now, the town only has one. So a Gold Point pub crawl starts and ends right here. So Walt, this is the saloon. I'm guessing this is the big gathering place. 
Yeah, it's a focal point of the whole town. It's nice, especially when the evenings cool off a little bit. We start a fire, and in the morning when we have breakfast, it's nice to walk, come in, especially if you're camping. Now, what would you say is the busiest time for you? Spring and fall, usually uh, spring is the best time, I think, because uh, people love that uh, freshness. The earth hasn't had a chance to warm up. You know, as it warms up during the summer, it retains a lot of that heat. And spring is usually so much more refreshing. I got to tell you, this place has character, and I think you are a character in the best way possible. Yeah, thank I don't you. Know how many people have come through here? It's not enough. Everybody should come here, yeah. meet you, get a drink, spend the night, and get some uh, mining history. Thank you for this day. Thank you for being here. You have a good trip back. No matter what time of year, Gold Point is a refreshing way to slip out of the present and into Nevada's mining history. I guess it seems this little town is frozen in time. And I suppose that's probably true. That's why people come here. But that's not the end of the story. See, Walt has big plans. Turns out he wants to build a mining museum right here at the end of Main Street. And until then, come on out to Gold Point. Look like the kind of folks that fit right in.